Hi everyone, this is Emil. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Miss Kitty Kitty. So, uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. We are doing good here as well. And um, please keep safe, everyone, okay? So, we're gonna talk about a real talk thing because I was thinking about um, adding some segment, uh, one segment on my YouTube account, like, um, like maybe about real talk thing or advice. You know based on on my experience you know because advices are always good but um it's better when it's really from your own experience so i think i was i was thinking to talk about my relationship with my son you know interesting you know i i know most of you guys know my son so he's my one and only son um i wanted to have more but maybe it's God's uh, uh, plan for me one only <laughs> but anyway I don't think I can I'm gonna be turning 41 on September so probably I'm done with that anyway um but he wants of course of course when you're one and only you're like mom sometimes he was like mom can we just adopt a kid like like my age <laughs> like it's like he's asking for a snack right so yeah um so a lot of people like really uh, admire us because we are close and some of my close friends also you know what at least i know the only thing i um i like about you guys i mean the only thing i don't like about me and my son is like this like that so they really admire us that we're very close because we are really close i don't know but i tried i tried to be like that because growing up although i did not grow really literally grow growing up um i always scared of my mom you know like literally like because she's always mad she's always, but i understand now as a mother oh my goodness i only have one son and i feel like my life is so you know <laughs> imagine my mom we were so we were very very poor that time and she has eight kids you know oh my goodness there is no reason um not to understand her you know so but anyway um like what i said i mean so i i told myself if i'm gonna have a kid i'm not gonna be like that you know i'm not gonna be i'm gonna try to correct whatever it is i'm trying but i i'm not saying oh i did i did great you know uh raising myself because i always i always uh I always believe that every day is a learning process for everything and for everybody because yesterday is not gonna be the same today and today is not gonna be the same tomorrow so every day is a really a challenge for everybody you know for all of us whether it's about your kids about your job about your friends you know so um, it's hard of course but I'm so glad that I uh, at least I maintain the uh, being close to him and because that's how I told him every you know when he was a baby I always tell him I only have one I only have a rule in um, in life you know I keep telling him and like, even when he was young I, even when he was like eight seven like that I always tell him about the real life I think that's a good um, uh, for me okay I mean I don't know but that's how I uh, discipline my son that's how I raise my son I, I give him example I give him um, I tell him everything like I don't lie to him I tell him everything like how much money we have um, um, you might not gonna have this because you know something like that and then the real life and then sometimes he asked to mom why why did actually when I was with my uh, late husband and then his daughter got pregnant for the fourth or third I don't know and then I, we were eating and then I was surprised my son said something like why they keep making babies he said I mean we, we were surprised but I mean what can you do you know that's how he feels he said why they keep making babies uh, they can't even um, take care of the other one something like that and they were and I were like okay 
And then I talked to him that time. I talked to him that night. I told him, hey, why did you say that? And then he said, and he was like, really like, well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's the good thing about my son when he's really like, he feels like he's right. You know, he will tell it. Well, they can even take care of the other too. Why is why she's pregnant again? I was like, and then I, I tried to explain. I said, well, some you know you don't understand now, but when you get old, you will understand that sometimes there's um decision that you know. So it it was hard to explain to him that time because we know that's wrong, you know. But you have to explain to him, and then um, so. Yes, that's how I, I raise him. Like I open his his mind to the reality of life, uh, real life. You know, it's it's not it's not all about toys. It's not all about games. No, when you get, I keep telling him. I always advance. Like oh, when you have like for example, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning the bathroom. I'm cleaning the the house. I will call him. Sintaro, come here. Like that. This is how you do it. Huh? You just don't. I know you're gonna do the. I know the the corner. You just don't. okay, okay. And then when I'm cleaning the 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 bathroom, the toilet bowl. This is how you do it. You just don't oh, spray spray only. And then no, you're gonna really like you know you have your gloves and everything. So that's how I I um I keep uh I always and I always um I always um involve him in everything that I in every decision I make like before when we lost Terry um, I, I thought I wanted to go to California so I asked him said hey we're gonna we're gonna go to California to stay with my cousin etc etc then it was like can we just and I, do we really need to go there so we really like because I feel like he's the only one I have and I'm the only one he has so you know we have to stick together we promised to each other actually it was really good when when i lost my late husband i told him uh you're not gonna i know you don't you don't leave mommy huh? so he was like 10 that time when he we lost daddy daddy he was 10 and he was like he's like where are you gonna put me you're gonna, you're gonna put me in i know in nursing home he's like Mom, I have to work. You have to be in nursing home, but because I have to work, but you can have ten nurses. <laughs> so that was like that's so sweet. Although it's like really, but at least you know you can see the, mom. I don't wanna. You have to be. You have to be in nursing home, but don't worry. You know, you have. You're gonna have ten nurses. So yeah, I mean we're not perfect. We always just the normal, you know, uh, mother and son relationship, but. You know, I always make sure that I got his back as long as he is good, you know. And I also, I also, um, I keep telling him too, I like, like what is happening in this world, like about black people, you know, because sometimes he asks, you know, why, why it's happening like that. So I explained to him, that's why I keep telling him, um, don't be like that, you know, just be nice, you know, I'm not asking you to be perfect and not asking you to be really really uh, uh, 100 on your uh, quiz in school I told him as long as you're not failing and you did your best on your quizzes and your test you're good and you're not uh, doing any bad things to your to others you know you don't bully you know and um, um, I kept telling him that um, I, the very very good thing is I really told him about the good karma and bad karma so that's what I you know I don't I don't make my relationship so complicated like we're mother and son you know like we can play we can joke around but if you're 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 really in trouble you're really in trouble you know and you can tell anything I told him Sometimes I told him, oh, when you get, I know, when you, when you get old, you have, you, you're going to experience uh, heartbreaks. Don't worry. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. You, uh, you're going to, I know, uh, just ask mommy like that. So I'm always, I'm worried. I'm always worried about my son because he's my one and only. But I always make sure that I prepare him or you know, when you get, when you get older, you're going to experience this. You have to be prepared. Do not, I know I keep telling him about 
don't you ever think about um you know like suicidal etc etc and he will like he will tell me why would i do that why would i why would i uh, waste my life i said that's good that's good but you know we don't know but at least i'm telling him now that you know you better not because you know i keep telling him that you know i always tell him that since you were born you're already perfect for me you know so whatever whatever you do in life it's only like an addition you know what i mean so if you have a girlfriend and lost your girlfriend that's fine it's not the end of the world you know you're already um, molded as a person even before your girlfriend even before your friends so i keep telling him about that that don't be like that and then i share my experience too we talk about we talk something about my life sometimes he asks me how many boyfriends you have <laughs> of course i did not say that no the exact number he only knows three that's better three is better <laughs> crazy anyway so yeah that's that's it um that's how i uh, raise him like you really like i i, I kind of like open his mind to the real world you know it's not all about toys it's not all about games this is life and then yeah that's he wanted to be an nfl football player and i said why not i always say you can do it. and he always said that he was like are you sure about that said, yeah why not I, I, my coach said i can i can be whatever i want to be i said that's right you know so i believe in him and um i trust him i mean he's not perfect he might gonna make mistakes in life of course not mine he's probably gonna have a lot of mistakes <laughs> but i always tell him when you fall down just stand up you know stand and do the when you think that that's the wrong way then don't go that way go to this I, that's how i i keep telling him there's only uh one thing in this world you know there's i keep telling i keep telling him about um the only a permanent in this world is a change okay life is not easy you're gonna fall you're gonna make a lot of mistakes but what important is you know how to change it you know how to not do it again i said you can't be like falling and falling and falling and falling and falling when you fall down and you you know that it's not the right path don't go to that way go to this way go to the right way and there's only like bad people and good people you know that he's bad don't go there because i keep telling him about um you know i have friends um like like we, we talk about and i talk everything i talk um uh, about everything you know with him like drugs you know i never had i have a lot of friends who's doing drugs but i never tried drugs and then i keep telling him so i i i make I make it as an example i said see you know even if my friends like you know some, some friends like oh try this try that i never i never try because i know it's it's not my thing i can try you know i mean i could have been uh try that but I did not why because I know it's not good that's how I always tell him so I keep and then I keep telling him and what's important is I always tell him I got your back as long as you're good but I mean if if ever you're gonna do something like about drugs and everything I can't help you with that I can't help you I mean I'm gonna be there for you but you gotta have to be responsible with all your decisions so that's how that's how basically because that's life you know i mean seriously like when he gets old and he do some stupid things what can i do i can't do anything he's gonna be in jail so that's what i told him you wanna do this thing you go to jail okay i'm gonna i'm gonna visit you but i can't do anything i can't you know you know what i mean so that's how i uh always uh, uh what they call this put it in his mind life is not easy if you do good things
things to others, there's a good things gonna happen to you, good karma and bad karma. So that's how basically my, my relationship with him. It's not very complicated. You do good to me, I'm good. You disrespect me, you're in trouble. That's it. Life is it's not easy, but if you know how to live your life, you know. So basically that's it, you know. <laughs> See, I'm so I'm very cool, mom. I'm not so complicated. So he's lucky. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, I just wish that, you know, I'm... I'm gonna be a good um i'm gonna be uh i'm good enough for him i wish that um he will really think about everything that i'm uh be telling him i'm sure he is i i think i think i mean i don't think um it's gonna be really really bad okay i don't think so i mean he knows life is he knows He's, a, he's actually like, um, actually it's funny because one time, um, so we were driving, no, Truman was driving, so we were in the car. Truman was driving, I told, and then I told Truman, my gosh, you were like, I hate you last night. And then Truman was like, why? You, I know you keep, I know you keep pulling the blanket, I'm so cold. And, was like, and then Shintaro said something, he was like, that's why you don't get married. You have to share everything to your wife. <laughs> so that was really like, what? <laughs> because I know why. Because my late husband, you know, my ex-wife, he knows everything. Like, what is this? My son is like that. Like, he always asks. So you have to explain, which is good. So he knows that my ex-wife, you know, my late husband, ex-wife, they have a problem, lawyer, lawyer, etc. So that's why he said something about that when Truman, you know, we were like, I said, Oh my goodness, you are not keep pulling the blanket. I said, and he was like, That's why you don't get married. He was like, Because when you divorce, you have to share everything with your wife. <laughs> so yeah, that's how crazy my son. But I'm happy and I'm glad that we are close, you know, and that's really good. So I think, um, to those who are uh, single now you know you really have to prepare you know being a parent is not is not easy and you will never you can you will never be prepared never be prepared i don't think people say oh when you're when you're on this age when you have your own you're settled you have you have your own house you have a good job you're you're, you're ready to be parent no i don't think so I mean, you're ready finance, fi financially, yes, you're ready, like, yes, but as a parent, really, like, as a parent, as a mother, as a father, you can, you can never be ready, because you really, every day is um, challenging, you know, it's a challenge for, for parents, you know, so, that's it, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I give you uh, some tip, or um, I, in I inspire you guys, and um, I'm sorry if you feel like my way is not that perfect or not that good, but we're doing good, so it's fine. <laughs> thank you guys again for watching, and uh, keep safe, and love you guys, and thank you for all your support. Bye-bye.